This is the fire stick you know and love. You lose it in the couch cushions. It mostly works, but if you're anything like me, you probably reached the point where mostly works just isn't cutting it. In this video, I'll show you how to unlock the fire stick's true potential. From performance tweaks to killer features Amazon doesn't want you to know, we're taking your streaming stick from stock to premium. You'll learn how to build and launch your own custom home screens, turn your fire stick into a retro gaming console, and create your very own personal Netflix, no subscriptions required. Plus, you'll take full control over your viewing experience from sight and sound to lighting and mood, all with the press of a single button. Everything's broken down step by step for you to follow along. Skip around using the chapters if you want. Let's dive in. Section 1. It can do that. These are the hidden features that make your Fire Stick way more capable. Upgrade number one, stream smarter, not harder. First up, here's a way you can ditch the ads and subscriptions and the fluff content. Jellyfin is a free open source media server that turns your Fire Stick into your own personal Netflix with no monthly bills. To install it, just search for Jellyfin in the App Store. To access your content, you'll need to set it up on a PC or NAS and collect and digitize your media. I've got videos on my channel walking you through the whole thing. You can even customize the interface, set user permissions, and enable remote access to watch your movies, shows, and live TV anywhere in the world. Upgrade number two. You're my boy, Blue! Tooth. Tired of clicking letters one by one on a remote? Pair a Bluetooth keyboard in just seconds. Just head to the settings, then controllers and Bluetooth devices, then to other Bluetooth devices, and finally add Bluetooth device. Put your keyboard in pairing mode, select it, and enter the code. Now searches are a breeze. You can use this same method to pair wireless headphones or game controllers. There's also a Fire Stick app that lets you use your phone to type. Upgrade number three. Let the games begin. Your Fire Stick can be a full-blown retro gaming console. It can handle Nintendo, Sega, and even PlayStation games. To do this, you'll need two apps. The first is RetroArch. It's an interface that lets you use emulators to process and play the games. The second is Explore File Manager, which allows you to transfer the games to your Fire Stick. To load the games onto the Fire Stick, first allow access in Explorer. If your ROMs live on a NAS or a PC, Explore can access them over Wi-Fi. To transfer from your NAS or PC, go to LAN, then add server and scan for it. Choose your device, input your login credentials, and now you can dig into your folders to move over the files. Make sure the arrow is pointing to the left toward the Fire Stick storage, then hold down the select button on the remote and choose copy for each ROM you want to move. Back in RetroArch, you'll first need to specify which core to use to process the game. The core is an emulation package and it needs to match the system that the game was designed on. You can't put a Game Boy cartridge into a PlayStation just like you can't run a game on the wrong core. Then, just select the game and you're in. Couch co-op on the stick. Try connecting a Bluetooth controller using the steps in the last tip for a better experience. Want to go from retro to futuristic? Upgrade number four. Remix your remote experience. You can always rearrange your apps by long pressing them and moving them, but we're going deeper. Say hello to Project Ivy, a custom Fire Stick launcher with zero ads and full personalization. It gives you a sleek home screen with zero bloat no Amazon ads, and full control over your layout. You can customize the entire experience, including background, card sizes, shapes, icons, layouts, and more. Here's the process step by step. Step one, enable developer options. Head over to settings, then to My Fire TV, and then to about. Once in the about page, click Fire TV seven times to enable developer options. Now head back one screen to enter into developer options. From here, allow wireless ADB debugging access and the ability to install unknown apps. Step two, connect to your Fire Stick from a PC. In the My Fire TV section, go to About, then Network. Make a note of the IP address of the Fire Stick. Mine is 10.0.0.149. 
On your computer, download the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB, platform tools from the link in the description below. Make sure to choose the one that matches your system, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Extract the files, then copy the address to the folder location in your file browser. Now, open a terminal window and navigate it to that folder. You can do this by pressing Start, Run, and typing CMD. If your folder is in a different drive than what is showing, just type the drive letter with a colon, then type CD, then the path to the folder. Once you're in the folder, you'll connect via ADB by typing ADB space connect space the IP address of your Fire Stick. Be sure to switch the IP address to the one we found earlier. Back on your TV, accept the prompt when your Fire Stick asks if you want to allow debugging. Step three, install Project Ivy. Now, download the Project Ivy Launcher APK from the link in the description below. Next, Install ADB Link 2 on your PC, which is also linked below. In ADB Link 2, make sure it's connected to your Fire Stick, then click Install APK to select the downloaded APK file for Project Ivy. Back in your command prompt, input the command list from the video description below. These commands will give Project Ivy special permissions to help control the Fire Stick screen, give it the ability to pop up windows or buttons on top of other apps, keep it prioritized and not slow it down to save resources, and finally, to reboot the Fire Stick. One command you may want to include or exclude is the suspend command. It stops Amazon from updating your Fire Stick. Updates are nice, but they may break the functionality of Project Ivy and undo all the cool changes that we made. Back on your Fire Stick, you'll now see the Project Ivy app installed and ready for you to customize. Later in the video, I'll show you how to launch directly to this when booting up the Fire Stick. Section 2. I'm the captain now. Here's how to take full control over your privacy notifications and data. Upgrade number 5. Snitches get stitches. Data monitoring allows you to see how much data each app is using, helping you to identify which app consumes the most data. If you don't have a capped data plan, you might as well turn it off. Just go to settings, then preferences, and then under data monitoring, switch it to off. Upgrade number six, mute the madness. These are messages or alerts that appear on your TV screen from installed applications, providing updates, reminders, or other timely information. When I'm watching something, I don't like anything breaking my immersion. So I like to turn these off by heading to settings, preferences, and then into notification settings. Do you enjoy being targeted? If not, you'll need upgrade number seven, break up with big ads. Targeted ads are tailored to individual users based on their viewing habits, demographics, and other data that's collected by Amazon. You can disable this by heading to settings, then preferences, and then into privacy settings, then interest-based ads. Just know that you'll still see advertisements from Amazon on here, but they won't be collecting and sharing your data to target you. If you prefer ads that are more relevant to you, then leave this on, it's up to you. Okay, now that the house is in order, let's move on to section three, elevate, elevate, elevate. These are the hardware upgrades and accessories to complete the transformation. Upgrade number eight, wrap it like it's hot. I got tired of my Fire Stick remote cluttering the coffee table, so I designed a solution. Meet the Fire Dock, your remote's new home base. It comes in two styles. The Fire Dock Low is sleek, compact, with an offset cutout that hugs your remote close to the table. Great for clean, minimal setups. The Fire Dock High raises the remote like a tiny pedestal. Easy to spot, easy to grab, and hard to lose. Both keep your space organized, your remote protected, and your surfaces looking sharp. Choose from three signature colors to match your setup. Midnight Black, Storm Gray, and Ice White. Designed by me, built for real life, available now in my shop. Upgrade number nine, get a remote for your remote. I'm not joking, think about it. It's called the Fire Stick, not the Fire Remote. It's really the stick that's the fire, and the remote just comes along for the ride. It's really only good at navigation, and there's a ton of functionality being left on the table. 
This is the Sofa Baton X1S and it's a great upgrade. Sofa Baton sent me this remote to try out, but they didn't pay me at all and my opinions are all on my own. It's a premium universal remote with its own LCD screen, customizable buttons, and smart home integration. It can control your devices, including the Fire Stick. Where the Fire Stick feels like glossy plastic, this feels more like the matte interior of a nice car. Here's what makes this device so amazing. With just one click, you can turn on your TV, launch into your Fire Stick, dim the lights for movie night, and crank up the volume. Setup is easier than I expected, probably because Sofa Baton has compatibility with over 500,000 devices. Here's the full process. Step one, get the app. The app is available on iOS and Android. I know you're thinking, why do I need an app for a remote? Is there a rewards program too? No, but it does let you program and customize things beyond your wildest dreams. Step two, set up devices. You'll just choose your remote type and set up your hub by following the on-screen instructions. The hub comes with the X1S and it's what blasts out signals to connect to different devices. It can connect using infrared, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi up to 30 feet away. To add my TV, I just clicked on add an IR device and searched by the model of my television, which you can usually find on the back of your TV. Tell it what brand the TV is, then input the model number. It pulls up the whole profile, and you can test out all the buttons to make sure they work. The funny thing is, I ordered my TV from Amazon a while back, and they sent me the wrong model and the wrong remote. It was supposed to come with a magic remote that you can point at the screen like a Wii controller, but instead, I got this. I complained and got a small discount, so I just kept the TV, but I didn't even know there were all these extra buttons that I didn't have access to. That was a nice added benefit of setting this remote up. When you're done, you can choose an icon for it, give it a name, and hit complete. The app downloads the whole code library for your remote and that's it. You can remap any buttons from here, like inverting the up and down controls to use the remote like you're flying a plane. Adding the Hue bridge was even easier. I just chose Wi-Fi device and it popped right up. You press the button on the bridge to link it. I have almost every bulb of my house linked to the bridge so it couldn't handle all 210 commands, but it can handle up to 169. I don't control every light individually anyway, so I just chose to include the commands for each group or room, which turns them off and on and adjusts the brightness. Step three, one touch activities. You go through some prompts to set up the activities, but I'll just show you the end result. For my Fire Stick activity, you can see that the device will power on my TV in Hue Bridge, switch the source to HDMI 2, which is where the Fire Stick is plugged in. I set a delay for three seconds to give the TV time to start up and programmed in commands to dim the lights to 10% and hold the volume up button for two seconds. It's like having a little assistant who lives in your remote that follows these commands every time you click the button. If you want to grab one for yourself, Sofa Baton was kind enough to give my viewers 15% off with coupon code Jonah. The affiliate link is below, which supports the channel at no extra cost to you. That's code Jonah for 15% off Sofa Baton products. Section 4 Turbo Mode Activated. Here are the tips to speed up your fire stick and clean out the junk. Upgrade number 10 Sink the Bloat. Bloatware is just extra fluff sitting on your fire stick, eating up storage space and available memory. Clearing it out will enhance your ability to find what you want and make your fire stick perform quicker and more reliably. You can start by removing applications under Settings, Applications, then Manage Installed Applications. Uninstall what you can, but some are blocked from it. In this case, you'll need to go a step further and use the Android Debug Bridge. Steps to install and connect it are in Section 1, Tip 4. In your connected command prompt, you can view all the apps loaded on the stick by inputting the command ADB shell PM list packages. To help identify the apps, use the dash F tag. While you can't truly uninstall system apps, you can disable them by using the command PM disable dash user. Here's an example command. It removes some of the shopping functionality. And if you ever want to restore the app, just run the enable package command. Lock in the changes by triggering a reboot of the Fire Stick by typing ADB reboot into the console. If you ever need to see a list of the packages that are disabled, you can use the dash D tag. Be sure to research and be extra careful that you aren't removing anything you want to keep. Never remove any packages that would break the Fire Stick boot process. If you do, 
you'll need to do a full factory reset to get it working again. Upgrade number 11. Would you like any cash back with that? In computing, cash is like a temporary storage area where frequently used information is kept close at hand. Over time, this can build up with data that is no longer useful, so it can help to clear it out from time to time, especially from heavy apps like Netflix or Prime Video. To do this, go to Settings, Applications, and Manage Installed Applications. Click on the application you want to clear, then navigate down to Clear Cache. Now hold down the Select and Play Pause buttons for 5 seconds to force a quick reboot. Upgrade number 12. Say nay to autoplay. You can disable the featured content from autoplaying to reduce resource usage. Head to Settings, then to Preferences, and pick Featured Content and turn off Allow Video Autoplay and Allow Audio Autoplay. Upgrade number 13. Beam it to the big screen. Display mirroring or screen mirroring is the process of wirelessly sharing a device's screen onto your TV. You can share content from real time in a cell phone or a computer to your Fire Stick. Enable it by long pressing home, then choose mirroring. Upgrade number 14. Spawn into your custom home page. Did you know you can configure your Fire Stick to automatically launch into a website of your choosing? This is what is typically used at tablets, at conferences, or retail, but we can hack it to show only our favorite applications or boot straight into a web page, calendar, weather, or to-do list. Really, your imagination is the limit. You can get the Fully Kiosk browser for free from the description below. Just download the regular edition APK and use ADB Link 2 from Section 1 Tip 4 to install it onto your Fire Stick. Now you can configure it to boot directly to a URL. In Jellyfin, you can set up remote access in your own web page that logs onto your media server. So if I input that URL, I can log in and access my content. I have to admit, it's very hard to navigate using the Fire Stick remote. Use the back button to get into the kiosk settings and set it to auto boot on startup if you want to skip the Fire Stick default homepage. You can also set it up to go to somewhat of a dashboard page where you can customize which applications you want to show. Now you can quickly access the Jonah Jameson channel to check for new content. It's uploaded often, so subscribe and like the video if you found anything helpful. Bonus upgrade, preserve your firepower. If you've made it this far, you've probably spent some time installing custom launchers, setting up your apps, and disabling Amazon bloatware, so it's a smart move to create a backup of your Fire Stick. This way, if Amazon pushes an update, or something crashes, or you end up needing a factory reset, you can restore everything in minutes. Here's the command to back up everything. The APK saves the APK files of your installed apps. Dash shared saves the shared storage like downloads, screenshots, or user data. Dash all keeps all app data from applications that allow backup. And dash F specifies the file name. It saves the backup as a file called firestick underscore backup .ab on your PC. For your information, some apps don't allow backup via ADB so they won't be fully restored, and this doesn't backup system level settings. For example, any ADB commands you've used to disable bloat packages. It's mostly for just apps and data. By default, the backup file is saved wherever your terminal is currently pointing to when you run the command. So if you're still in the platform tools folder where the ADB exe file lives, then it'll save to that folder. To control where it saves, use the cd command to change folders in the command prompt. To restore the backup, run adb restore. You'll need to confirm on your Fire Stick that you want to run the backup. The process will take a few minutes, apps will reinstall, and data will be restored. All right, that's everything. If you decide to pick up one of these, don't forget to use coupon code Jonah for 15% off the Sofapton X1S Smart Universal Remote. And if you want to get free live TV, check out this video next. It'll change your channel surfing forever. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. You can see the remote? Yeah. I don't know how to punch. <laughs>